Uh, Yoki Harju is going to join us. Henry Yoki Harju. Don't be nervous. We don't bite. Have a seat. Good to see you. You don't tuck your uh, you don't tuck Look your pants kicks. into the socks like yeah, they do in Sweden. Ones. Those are sick. They do that in Sweden, eh? What they do? Where they tuck the pants into the socks. They pull the socks up over the jeans. Maybe not nowadays, but they did when I lived there. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that though. But how old are you? I'm 20. You're 20 years old. So I was there in. Uh, how old were you? Would you have been in 2005, four? Re, re oh, born? my hometown, Tampere, back oh. in Finland. Tampere. Tampere. Uh, question for a yogurt. Yeah, it's just came with the nickname, the yogurt. I, I, I like the yogurt. That's, that's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. There's nothing behind uh, deeper than. Nothing you want to tell us? No. Nope. Curtis Lazar just said your name is Yogurt. <laughs> yeah. And that's all he said. <laughs> just, just the nickname. Do you like to talk to teammates? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to talk. You like to talk? Yeah. Do you like doing media stuff? Yeah, sometimes. Depends. Depends. On, on what? On who's interviewing you? Yeah, and uh, if they're winning or lost game. Okay. Uh, how did it feel about like playing in Chicago the other night, the, your old team? Oh, it was fun. Kind of weird. You know, just going back to that building, and uh, it, was, it was exciting, but... Uh, at the same time, like, pretty weird. Weird, weird just going back there? And yeah, 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 yeah. Did you yeah. see any of your old teammates? Oh, no, I just try to focus on my, like, my own game and just shut down every other stuff. How are you feeling about your game these days? Oh, I'm feeling good. Or, like, okay, always can be better and just try to work my game and just become a better player and just help the team win. What is your, uh, what would you say outside of your skating is your, is your biggest attribute? Um... Probably my passing. All right. I concur with all of it. You know what? I, I, I uh, you know, I was a, a defenseman also. <laughs> Thank you, Riff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, uh, you, you're, you're, you're. Uh, Are you fresh out of the shower? Yeah, I just you're came. You're literally fresh out uh, of yeah. the shower. Do you want to take your coat off? Yeah. I can I tell. I just came straight from the shower. That's the post-skate, post-shower, still yeah. hot body, and you're sweating, and you just want to get out of That's here. That's the worst. Yeah, there's nothing worse than doing this. So we're going to ask you a couple quick questions. Yeah. Questions, get you out I, of here. I, I feel so Listen, bad that you even I mean, have to be here right now. You've had a really nice start to your season here in Buffalo. Um, I think that you've, uh, I think that you've played really well, and, and and Petey was talking about your, your your skating and and your puck moving ability. Um, you know, you know, to classify you, what what style of defenseman um, do you feel you are, and what would what are your what are you trying to work to yourself into? Um, I feel I'm puck moving defenseman. Like, just want to give the puck for the better players who can make their better plays than me, and just be good and you know, offensive us like offensive way, and just try to make sure that uh don't get scored in a defensive zone here. So I uh, just want to be a good two-way defenseman, you know. I just mostly just puck moving, puck moving defenseman. What was it like moving from Finland to go to Portland and play in the WHL at such a young age? It was nice. I I was prepared for it, and I knew that that would be good. It, it will help me to get to NHL. So I, I went there, and... Uh, it was, it was a great team. We have a good coach there, Mike Johnston, and uh, he knew he knew all the tricks and uh, just helped me a lot in there. Growing up, were you always touted as a as a player that could make it to the NHL? Yeah, or like I never like think about it. I just like play. Cause it was fun and just playing the national team, like you know the U8, U16, 17, 18. It was like fun and just like I never just thought about it. Like when you were a young kid in Finland, were you a stud? Or did you have to work kind of your way, you know, up to where you are now? I was, like, working hard, but I was still, like, like, kind of talented. Were okay. you were you one of the best players on your team, like, on the defense? Yeah, yeah, back in, like, when I was playing juniors, yeah. I, uh, I, I just, I, I, I always wonder about these, because we had kids that came over and played junior with us, and they, they from, all, like, all different countries at such young, young ages. And I just often wonder, I mean, was there, was there no opportunity for you to stay there and, and continue to play in Finland or was it only is that the mindset of of you know in Scandinavia that if you want to make it to the NHL the best way to do it is to go over to North America and play in the junior leagues I think there's different option options for you than that but uh, I, I saw I was like kind of kind of small when I left so I wasn't I was playing the good in the under 20 league what's the 
like the junior league just before before the men's league so i was playing really good and i knew that next year will be like by year for me kind of like i will not get any more better so i need to play with men's but i was still kind of small and i i thought i'm not gonna like fit fit good with the men so i went to the portland what was the what was the travel like for you in Finland? Like, was it long bus rides and stuff? Because you must have been an eye opener for you going over to to the Western Hockey League. Oh, in Finland wasn't that too long because uh, Tampere is kind of middle of the country, so it's like two hours everywhere. Some somewhere it's like four. And then here you hop on a bus and go twenty hours to Brandon. Yeah, yeah, it was actually <laughs> my uh, my first road trip. It was sixteen hours to the Swift Current for one game. Yeah, but we haven't road, road, road games. We were, like, road for, like, a week and a half. Did you enjoy that, going on uh, those long trips? Yeah, actually, like, it's, like, right now the travel feels really, really easy. Like, it doesn't feel that long anymore because, obviously, the closest game in there was, uh, like, a three and a half hours in Seattle. You know, when I was 15 years old, I moved away from home, and I went an hour and 10 minutes away, and I, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and the first person I ever heard confess being homesick was rib i was super homesick what was it like for you i mean i i i I couldn't even imagine and i don't know that i ever got over being homesick until i was probably like 1920. oh it was hard like or i I was pretty prepared for it but uh i think my first week was pretty tough tough and uh then i just like kind of went over it and just I have good friends in there and I knew my parents coming like soon and I was like phone calling them so I I knew it's going to be a part of the this kind of job you know playing hockey but you know it was for me it was like pretty easy do you have any siblings yeah I got older brother and older sister uh either of them play hockey yeah my brothers play back home in my hometown they played uh for a national and team the pro or team yeah yeah back home so, bragging rights you're obviously the better brother Oh no, he's he's be, he's better player, but uh, he's uh. He's, How old is he? He's 95 born, so he's 24. Right now. So that so, must have helped you having. So you an older took a brother. beating for a couple of years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. Well, we're both younger <laughs> brothers here as well. Yeah. So you know, it toughens you up a little bit. Or yeah, it, it did. It did. You know, I was like, if I, we were playing like uh, straight hockey, and if if I lost the game, I just get so so mad. I started like whacking him with my stick and get beat up a couple times all right so it's all pretty sa- pretty yeah, much the same, same. but yeah, it's not even it's same. not even your older brother that's the bad one it's his buddies <laughs> hey his buddies give you a hard time no no not not his buddy just my older brother all right well you're facing minnesota tonight what do you know about that is this your first time playing them or did you get to see them when you were with chicago yeah i played a couple, couple times last year and what do you think of the, what do you think what what are they like oh uh, kind of kind of you know veteran team they know you know a little bit older guys in there and uh, I think uh, there are lots of good players like Miko Koivu, obviously Finnish guy. So that's the only guy you name. Yeah. Speaking of which, you, you you bring up Finland. Do you know who Saku Koivu is? Oh yeah. Did you hear the story about Saku Koivu being thrown into the toilet during the playoffs and cutting his back and missing? Yeah. The, you did. He, you, he you, didn't you, miss the game though, did he? No, he didn't miss the game. Uh, but did you hear the story about him getting pushed into the toilet? Just came yeah, out yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who did it? No. Tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so he saw Miku Koivu when he came in, and Koivu had no idea that it had even that it had even happened prior, and then he just heard that it hit the Finnish papers the other day. Yeah. Did you Is hear that about true? that? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it hits the finished paper, and I was, like, scrolling probably, like, Facebook, and I was like, what? what is this? I'm just clicking, just read it. it and what's your, what's your mindset at that moment? Like, that guy is what? Tough, tough and really good hockey player and just lost the game. No, not Koivu. The guy that pushed him into the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> oh, I thought Koivu. I don't like, I don't, accidents happens, you know. Accidents yeah, it's, happen. it's okay. Like, it wasn't uh, an accident. I was sending a message. <laughs> yeah, before a game. That's right. Okay. Wakey, wakey. Well, anyway. listen, hey, uh, thank you very much for, for joining us. We're going to take a quick break here. Instigators, Henry Yoki Harju, good luck tonight. Good luck thank with you. Uh, you got a place? You're all moved in? Yeah. Yeah? How you, how you like in Buffalo? Do you have a nice. roommate? No. Just living by myself. On solo, eh? Yep. All right. You cook? Or Sometimes. Me, sometimes, yeah. Well, let me guess. You're, you're the guy that uh, or, like has the meal prep. No. No. I, I go eat, eat, eat out or uh, then I just order in. 
or I make some pasta by myself. What is the Scandinavian dish, the Finnish dish that uh, you miss most from back home? Because I know in Sweden it's meatballs and probably all the home food my mom mom makes. But there isn't it's, like one signature um, dish. It's, it's kind of like a pasta bolognese, but it's like it's better. Scandinavians love their pasta bolognese. They do. Hey, yep. did you enjoy Sweden? Did you enjoy going? Did your family get to come see yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. It was it was fun when my family come over and see see me play, and then my grandparents all. Also came in there, so it was, it was re really nice. Had your grandparents been able to see you play in the NHL before? No. Oh, so wow. it was really nice. Uh, that's pretty unbelievable. Well, thanks very much. Good, good luck, luck and, yeah. and good job so far, man. We enjoy watching Thank you. you. Uh, Thank Henry Yoki Harju, kind enough to join us. He'll do a walk off here. Uh, yeah, no, no problem. Grab your jacket. Don't forget your jacket. All right. Uh, are we going to go to break? We're going to go to break, and we'll be right back. See that? Built like a absolute. That's a hockey player right there. We'll be right back with the instigators with uh, myself and Craig Rive, maybe Paul Hamilton, WGR 550 and MSG.